Trish, welcome. It's so great to have Thanks. you. Thanks. Thanks. Well, I, I want to say right away, the gameplay reminded me quite a bit of Fire Emblem and Advance Wars. Yeah, um, Fire Emblem and Advance Wars are definitely kind of inspirations mm -hmm. of ours. You know, um, Wargroove is a turn-based tactical strategy game. It's a game about starting to build up your resources every mission and push yeah. forward into your enemy territory and just kind of dominate the map and make the right choices. But um, yeah, we've got a lot of unique kind of gameplay mechanics. So we're bringing right. it into the modern age. We've got online play, uh, mod support, and kind of yeah. content creation as well. Yeah, and that's one of the things that we're going to get the chance to look at today. Doris, who's operating the PC right now, tell us what it is we're looking at. So what we're looking at today is the world map of Wargroove, and this is our campaign editor. So these are the tools we use in-house to create Wargroove campaigns, and mm -hmm. we're shipping them with the game so players can create their own scenarios. So I've been placing down map markers, and each of those represent a mission. Mm -hmm. And then you link them together to create the path through your campaign. And I know that one of the things you wanted to talk about was the branching path element. Yes, yeah, so you can have branching path, obviously. And the cool thing with that is every branch can have conditions. So for example, let's say you get a high score in a mission, and that could lead you through a harder path in your campaign. Or you uh, could have a, a secret path that triggers based on some event in the mission. Yeah, exactly. Well, let's hop into one of the missions and get that one started. And Jay, walk me through what it is that we're taking a look at. So yeah, this is a, a map editor. This is like straight drawing tiles straight into the battle screen. You know, it's really simple to use, really understandable immediately. Um, you can just kind of draw those tiles right in there and drop in the full range of units. Uh, Doris is dropping in a commander right now. Well, what are the commander units about? Talk to me about that. Uh, so the commanders are kind of integral to the strategy of Wargroove. You have this unit that kind of represents like the king and queen in chess at the same time. They have unique abilities and act as your avatar in battle, and they're really powerful, so you can kind of push forward really heavily with them. But there's a lot of risk reward in there as well, because if you actually lose that unit, then you actually lose the game. Oh, that's what you mean by the king comparison. Absolutely, it's, it's both yeah. your power unit and the queen, but your loss condition is the king. Yeah, and um, other tools include you can drop down buildings right now. Uh, we have dropped in some HQs. Those are kind of like your base of operations, and to take the opponent's HQ is to win the match. Yeah. But um, on top of like kind of simple and easy to use tools, we've also got more advanced tools. Um, so you can use this zone tool right here, and you can highlight an area and assign like a scripted encounter or sequence to that. Okay, so you know, if I step into that forest, someone can pop out and attack me. Yeah, you could have bandits jump out and attack you from the woods. And the really cool thing about that is that that actually ties back into the campaign map we saw earlier. So maybe that will trigger a condition. Maybe yeah. after encountering those bandits, your story takes a different turn and you decide to I go see. into the forest to fight more of them and so on. Now, Doris, what is the process to go from this map to a playable game? So it's very simple, like as simple as sharing the map, actually. So you can just share your map. Mm -hmm. And if you want more content, just go online and download map. And everything is just one click, basically. And there it is. So let me actually take a step over to this timer here. It has been three minutes, and we have gotten the chance to design a campaign map, end a mission, and get it playable. That is incredibly fast. Jay, Doris, I want to thank you both so much for coming out to talk about this game today. Cheers, guys, thanks and thanks for coming. Thank you.